Hey, it's Arkin from Magpie Gemstones. This is the third time I'm doing this video because halfway through I keep bursting into this coughing fit. I've been, um, I had a cold last week and now I've just got this sinus thing. It's okay. You won't catch it. You'll be fine. But if I start coughing, I don't think I'm going to stop this time because I'm tired of doing this video over and over again. So just bear with me while I cough it out and then we'll move on. I'm going to be talking about hardening wire. Gosh, I can hope I can remember the, all the stuff I said in the last two videos that I had to delete. Um, hardening wire. There, why would you want to harden wire? I, I understand. A lot of people new to wire wrapping or new to jewelry making don't get what we're talking about. We're like we're talking some kind of foreign language. Wire's metal. Metal's hard. Why would you want to harden wire? Well, there's, um, wire comes in three different hardnesses. It comes in dead soft. It comes in, um, half hard. And then it comes in hard. Uh, the dead soft is fantastic for sculpting and it bends really easy, um, and then it unbends really easy, so you can manipulate it. Um, half hard is springier. It bends fairly easily, and then once you have it set there, it kind of stays there because it work hardens as you're working with it. Now, hard wire, um, hard to get into the position that you want. Once it gets there, it stays there for good. Think of those spiral binders that we had when we were in school. Not the binders that had the clamps, but the spiral wire, and it really stayed in that position, um, holding all the, holding the book together. And that was, that was hard wire, even though it was small wire, it had been hardened. Um, the molecules inside the wire had been manipulated enough that they were holding together. And as you manipulate wire, it becomes harder and harder and harder. That's why when you begin wire wrapping and you twist something and you twist it, and you twist it and you twist it and then it breaks, you're like, Hey, what's going on here? You've hardened it so much, and the molecules, the molecules, I don't know, have become so solidified that they become brittle. You don't want to go that far. You just want to harden your wire. There's many reasons why you might want to harden um, um, wire. Border wraps, are you can use a smaller gauge of wire if you use harder wire. And in that instance, you might want to buy the half hard wire um, for that purpose. Often, um, the reason why people want to harden their wire is because ear wires, you don't want ear wires to be really bendy. Every one of us has a pair of earrings in our jewelry box that has really bendy ear wires that drive us insane. You don't want to do that to people. You want them to give them nice hard ear wires that hold their form. Um, sometimes the ends of pieces, um, bales, whatever, parts, parts of your design you want to be harder. Jump rings is a really good example. Quite often people will say, um, why are my jump rings giving out? And they'll tell you, well, because your wire wasn't hard enough, or you need a smaller diameter, or you need a thicker gauge. Those are your three options of how to manipulate that. So we know why we want to harden wire. So let's just get to hardening wire. Um, there's a number of different ways. One, of course, is a tumbler. Tumblers are awesome for that. So I hear I'm still terrified of my tumbler, usually because I use gemstones that I do not want to put in a tumbler. It scares the dickens out of me. But you can make a whole bunch of your wires and throw them in a tumbler. He can make a bunch of head pins and throw them in a tumbler, and that would hard them up. Some people argue the tumbler doesn't harden wire. I don't know. I've never used a tumbler, but all the people that tumble assure me that it does. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to grab my rib here. So let's just quickly show you the different ways that I harden wire. Other people do things differently. It's just me. Okay, this is the part of my ear wire. Let's say that's going to go on the earring that I made. Well, I want to harden this um, so that it doesn't undo when their earring catches in their hair and their earring falls off. So, um, I this part can be flattened with the domed hammer. And as you hammer it, you're working it. And as you work it, it becomes harder and harder and harder. And now this is really quite hard. You won't be able to unbend it. Um, but the part that goes, let me grab my wires from my ear wire, and let's say this part that's going to go through the ear. Most people don't like it flattened. It hurts a little bit, um, or it can become uncomfortable. You want it to keep that rounded shape, but you need it to be hard because that's the part that, you know, will come undone and will become really frustrating for people. A couple of options. Um, I used to put mine, I still do quite often, put them between leather, and I use that same hammer and give it a hammer and it hardens it but it, it's minimal change in the shape uh, you can also 
on the leather or straight onto on the mat, um, dapping, no, oh, whatever it's called. That thing. See, I've done this video too many times. I've coughed my brains out. I can't remember anything anymore. It's all good. You know what I'm talking about. And that's all that matters. Um, you can use your rawhide mallet. You can use a rubber mallet. Um, minimal change in the shape, but it will harden the wire after a while. It's pretty hard now. So uh, those are the options with um, hammers. Another option is using one of these guys. This thing's funny. It picks up. It has a really strong magnet on the end and it grabs everything. Um, anyway, it's a wire twister. And you use it to um, pattern square wire, or you can put two round wires in and twist them together. But it will also harden stretches of round wire. Now, it's like a drill end, you know, with a shuck. So you open that up, stick your wire in there, tighten it, tighten it up, grab the other end with your pliers as far as you want it to be hardened, and then start twisting. Now a lot of people do this with a drill, which makes a heck of a lot more sense. It's quick, and you're done. And then when you're twisting round wire, you're not going to get any patterning. You're not going to notice any change. Um, well, I am because this is um, cheap hardware store wire and there was a line, but that's okay. And the more you twist, the harder it gets until you twist it so far that you make it brittle and it breaks. Don't go that far. Stop. Feel it. See how much harder it is than it was before? I don't know if you can tell. And uh, you can also make a loop on this end to hold on to. And just keep turning it. Oh, pull it right out of the chuck. I can just put it back in again. But now it is hard. Look at this. It doesn't want to bend. And if I were to make an ear wire out of that, once I put it in place, it doesn't want to come undone. So those are your options in hardening wire. Did I forget anything? Probably. <laughs> if I forgot anything, leave a comment. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye. How do I turn this?